So, Alice, the first sentence, Alice had four times as many balloons as Claire. This is the before. So, Alice had four times. I circle the four and this four belongs to Alice. Circle and draw arrow back to the person. So, this one, your child can follow through easily. Okay? This four times means Alice has four units. As many as is a magic phrase, whenever you have that, go back to the first person in the sentence. And then you look whether you give her a whole number. If it's a whole number, four, in this case, four, the second person, Claire, will have one unit. So, this is my change sentence. So, Claire bought three extra balloons. Can you see the three there? So, I want you to circle. Bought extra means plus. This is plus. This is the A. I want you to write A there. So, Claire had 0 0.5 times as many S. Can you see the magic phrase again? So, 0 0.5 is actually 5 over 10. If I reduce it, you will get 1 over 2. Okay? So, you can see from, this, from the box itself, you know that change means that in the change row, there is a number. This one, there is no change. Uh, in the change row, there is no number. So, can we solve the sum already? Yes, we can. One unit represents three. I want to find how many units? Four units. Four units is three times four. This gives me 12. And this is my answer. Right? Now, we move on to level two of the single unchanged concept.